Larry couldn't get married until he was in his early 30s because he had to take care of his widowed mother. But then when it was time, he met Kathy and amazingly, it was love at first sight. I didn't come along till 10 years later and forever, I will be the baby of the family for my three older siblings and I, I like that. <laughs> Larry and Kathy weren't theologians. They simply grew up in an Irish Catholic family that practiced the faith. So they themselves had been nurtured by the words about marriage and family that St. Paul presents to us. A vision of love that we can live by. We are to live and love one another in marriage and in family in such a way that we know that God is love and he is among us. And so we let his grace guide and shape our lives. Larry and Kathy weren't perfect. Their marriage wasn't always easy. My father struggled with depression at times. Then he, at those times, he would, criticly, he would harshly criticize my mother for being naive. His work in government service had opened his eyes to the corrupt sides of the world that he found really painful to see. Yet she had enough faith for the two of them, enough faith for the whole family. And it was that faith that got them through and continually open them to a bigger way of seeing everyday reality. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, we hear today. The mustard seed is not one of those majestic sequoia or redwood trees towering gloriously about, uh, toward heaven. Rather, it's more like a huge shrub dense and compact, often considered more like a weed in Jesus' time. It would be easy today to fall into depression with ever, ever increasing complexity and divisiveness and conflict, seeing life more as a brambly thorn bush or a tumbleweed blown aimlessly by the wind in the light of faith we see the kingdom of God, a richly dense mustard tree, a tapestry of the infinite and loving God who is weaving and interweaving and generating more and more love and extraordinary beauty. I praise and thank the Lord for Larry and Kathy who formed my heart and my mind in this this true vision of reality. St. John Paul II proclaimed, family, be who you are. May our church be this family of families calling humanity today to the kingdom of God. 